hangover from the morning. And I forgot that I had to break the phone. So I'm just Hey YouTube, it's me, Nick Dior, and I'm back with another video. And as you can see by this title, this is something new I'm going to be starting. And it's a weekly vlog, and I'm going to, like, start it every Friday and edit it. Like, as my week ends, I'm going to edit it and post it and then start another one. So, this is day one. Today is Friday, the 14th. And I'm starting this vlog now because I'm trying to start being consistent with doing certain things. And that's why I want to start now. So... Day one is pretty boring. I don't really have anything much to do. We didn't have any school today because in Florida we're having like a thunderstorm. Everywhere is flooded so they canceled school for yesterday and today. So basically, at, from I got up at like 1, i just been playing Sims and that's it. And editing videos. That's all I've been doing. It's pretty boring today, but I'm going to be going through my day as I'm getting ready. I never did a weekly vlog before, so I don't know how to do this. See, my cousin, my cousin, she does monthly vlogs, and her vlogs be eating the girls up. Her vlogs eat the girls up. I'm telling you, her intros, her editing, everything goes hard. But I'm like, that's an easy way to stay consistent. But, you know, I don't want to be doing, like, the same monthly vlogs as she be doing because I can't keep up with that. Being that this is a weekly vlog, I don't think I'm going to show you guys, like, I don't think I'm going to do, like, a get ready, like, everyday type of stuff. Because even though I might, I am might, not sure if I'm going to be recording in school, but I don't think I'm going to do, like, a get ready with me, like, every morning. Like, do y'all want to see that every morning? See me do the same thing every morning? I don't know. I don't think so. I'll probably just do like, okay, I got ready type stuff. Let's go to school. That's most likely it. But it's time to shower. So I'm going to show y'all what I use to shower. I only use one thing. This is what I use to shower. I use the um, Baby Unscented because it's for sensitive skin and stuff. And I have really sensitive skin. So guys, I'm just... Getting up out of bed, it's like 6.52 in the morning, and from when I don't wake up, 6.52 in the morning, from when I don't have school, from when I have school, but it's time to get ready, so I gotta get up. My mom called and wake me up, like, for a long time, and I really don't have much time to talk and get ready. Because 6.57 and I want to stop and get breakfast. So I'm just going to get ready and just show you how to fit. So that's really not a fit and then just come back. So this is the fit. I'm, I don't, I can't really show you all the fit. But I'm in a rush because it's 7.08 right now. And I am trying to gather my stuff. And I forgot that I had to bring pencils. Like I'm just, oh, but. Give me a second. So guys, it's the crack of dawn right now. And I'm leaving my house. Oh, this is the fit, by the way. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's like the crack of dawn. This is my fit though. Slides, I got my water. I got a basic stuff. I brought my beats, but I, I doubt I'll need it. They said, they literally said, um, don't bring no phones. I don't think I could bring that, bring my phone inside, but I'm pretty sure I could leave it like in the car. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna try to get, try to get breakfast and try to eat it on time so I could go there a little early so I could see what I could bring inside from what I can't because they want me to bring so much things and. I can't bring a bag, so what is that supposed to mean? First, I don't got a position to put it in. Second, it breaks on me. I'm just having a rough morning, and I don't even know if I'm going to make it to McDonald's for real. 
I really don't even know. And I can't even drive too hard because I have to put my camera on my tripod. See, it's already rocking. What a day. But the McDonald's that I'm going at is like down the street from the school, so let's hope. <laughs> Gotta hold this bad boy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna call y'all when I'm out the complex, out of the speed humps, the speed bumps. And yeah, I don't know why I said I'm gonna call y'all, but I'm gonna I'm come back to this because it's like. So I'm getting out my complex. And. Bro, my belly rumbling. I, I even brought an inshore. I brought an inshore in case I didn't make it to McDonald's. And I brought it in case I get hungry later because I don't have time to stop and get snacks either. And I don't want to stop at that gas station as well. No, sir. Mm -mm. This claw clip, this hair, it's just too much for me. Their line seems to be real empty, but we'll see. Bro, come on. Good morning. Good morning. No, I won't be using it. Alright. What can I get for you? Can I get the um the number eight is the crispy chicken biscuit sandwich, right? Um, let me see. Yeah, it is. Okay, can I get that and can I get it with a medium caramel frappe, please? A medium caramel frappe? Yeah. Alright. That's it. Alright, you can pull around. Thank you. You're welcome. Guys, I'm gonna tell you so the hungry is kidding me. I'm not even gonna park up here and eat. I should park up here and eat. But... Yeah. Uh, you had the Thank you. Have a great day. That man got an attitude. He didn't give me my receipt. What if I needed it? Hello. Thank you. Thank you. They got the tea going on in here. Oh shoot, I forgot I said I'm not. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here. Good morning! Oh, they're so nice. I wish I had something to give that man. But, let's see. What time is it? It's 7.31, so I'm gonna really have to hurry up and eat. I don't want to drive and eat. So, let's hurry up and eat. I look crusty. But you know what? I'm going to take the ACT, baby. I'm going to be in there for a good four hours. And, and it's not going to freak. Ah! Ah! Just rip my dang head off. <sighs> Hash brown. I got the number eight, guys. It's a crispy chicken biscuit. Anytime you come to... Anytime you come to um, McDonald's, get you a crispy chicken biscuit sandwich, baby. It would never do you wrong. Mmm. My belly's so empty. I'm eating and it's like... This steering wheel is just making my face not focus. Okay, now it's being too clear because I don't really need to see up and close. But...
Mm-hmm. Talk about hungry. Me. Hungry like this. See, this video is really not ASMR. So, I wasn't going to sit here and, like, have y'all watch me the entire time. But if y'all want to watch me the entire time, I can make that work out for you, okay? Oh! Hold on. Oh, shoot. Bro, my battery's dying, y'all. Ooh. My battery is dying. I feel like the frat will fill me up more than me eating this, cause. Mm. Yeah, it's time to cut this camera because this is getting weird. So it's time to go because it's 7:40. I think I'm gonna have to do something to my hair today when I go home, cause it's time for this wig to come out, baby. I'm not gonna lie i'll probably just do some feedings and then actually like do do my hair like next week revert back to some feedings boy because i'm getting tired of this wig when i wear wigs i gotta let my hair breathe like in between all right because I, I think that's why it breaks out i think that's why my hairline breaks out so 7:42. So it's time to go, y'all. It's time to go. Cause even though it's right there, that don't mean I still wanna be late. Do I have to go that way? No, I don't. I don't wanna hit nobody car now. I don't want them to cuss me. Bro, I don't even know how to park for real. Like, what the... Y'all, what... If y'all see what I'm doing right now... Because I'm going to reverse in. Okay. I'm in. So, I guess I'm just going to sit here for a while. I don't want to go in there with no big old bag. Aw, oh, man. They're going to get me copyrighted playing all this pop smoke type stuff, man. Alright. That means I can finish my breakfast. So, I, I, I obviously can't bring my camera. But I could bring my purse. They said don't bring a phone. Like, where do you want me to put it? You cannot handle or activate from test room admittance. So, what is that supposed to mean? Like, what is that supposed to mean? What the freak? I brought my inshore. My mask. I should bring my water, but it's very big and it's not like I could tuck that anywhere. The heck? The entire family came to test. Okay. Um guys, um, I don't even know what to do. Oh my ID. I forget to say I need that. And this paper. So guys, wish me luck on my test. Um oh here's the key all about it so guys i've made it back and uh, i don't even know what to say it was all right they gave me these they left this on the car and it's currently 12 15 right now so i'm gonna stop at one stop and go to the hair store Outside, it's like real hot. Mm -mm. Lord, the water hot. It is so ill. That is nasty, boy. 
That thing is nasty. Oof, some fresh air and some. Oh gosh. Lord. So y'all, I'm at the hair store. I don't even know what I want to do to my hair for real, but I know I need to do something because this wig is not giving no more. It's starting to have a little odor. And I know it's because of the oil out there. I, I know it's because of the oil on my on my actual hair, on my scalp. Ah, it's on a hot body. Let me pay attention while I'm crossing the road for somebody to lick me down. <laughs> Let's see what color I'm gonna get today. Either 350. But I don't know what I'm gonna do to my hair. That's the thing. What length? <sighs> I really wanna do red. It would cost so much money. They don't ever got 350 in the regular line. They got 30, they got black, they got they don't even got 350. So y'all, this is the only one that I found that's the same color as the braids and it's already twisted, so I'm just gonna have to unravel it in order to get it to, to my liking. I got four packs of hair. Hopefully that could do my head. I'm not gonna lie. If not, I have some black at home. Let's eat. So y'all, I got four packs of hair. Oh shoot. Four packs of hair and one pack of the 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 curls. And um what else did I get? And a comb. And I only spent $29. That's not bad. That's not bad. So now I'm walking back to the car. Cause this car behind me looked like it wanted to lick me down, but yeah. what the frick is that? I call it my name. It's piled up, piled up, piled up. Man, I can't wait to do my hair. Like I literally cannot wait to do my hair. My hair needs to be done. I've been wearing this wig for almost two weeks now, and I promise you it's not going to sit two weeks on my head. And I need to get a SIM card. I wanna eat this first. And I gotta pee. This was not even that bad for real. Like I enjoyed it. Mmm mmm mmm. I would like put the camera to show like the road that I'm driving on for the aesthetics. But I don't want y'all to know where I live. But, uh, yeah, basically. It was hot. No light is coming in the car. Not really. Light is beaming off the car, man. Oh, darn it. Now I can't see. to get my hair done uh, ah. yeah. I'm ready to do this hair boy I'm exiting the wrong direction I'm not even going in the right way
passing through McDonald's. Gotta take wide turns. Cause I want to let somebody know. right now because the lighting I look very dark and I can't enhance it or nothing so I'm gonna check back in with y'all when I reach home yeah so this is after I took my wig out and washed my hair my hair is like not as long as anymore because I cut my ends and then on top of that I dyed it I dyed my hair yeah this is the setup though this is how the setup look I got a mirror behind me, got this, I got my rack, I got my laptop watching Steve Wilcox. So I'm ready and I'm going to check back in with you guys a little bit later. So yeah, we're going to see. So guys, I'm up now. Lexi has arrived. So I'm going to start her hair and yeah, I'm going to show you because this is day three. Day three. Welcome everybody. Get a video of your head, guys. So, Lexi did a big cut. We're gonna show you the before and after. Can't run without heavy weights. <laughs> These are more than enough. Mm. Guys, so this is how the sides look now. Hold on. Yeah. yeah, I don't really care. I don't know why it looks so dark. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. So guys, this is how the ending will look. We're gonna curl these ends right here. She wants some curl, that's why I didn't braid them all the way down because these gotta look very, you know, it. Lexi, you could turn around now. Yes, why would I curl them? Yeah, actually, was tired of me. So we're gonna put mousse on this, and you know, Lexi's a part of my week, I mean, my day three vlog, so. So this is how it looks now. Some fried fish up in here. Hold your head down. I'm trying to get some content here. We're not worried about fried fish right now. That's my dinner. I don't know what you eating for dinner, but me. Let me go ahead and take a plate home, y'all. All the emotional distress she gave me today. Yeah, I don't think so. See the water done now. Guys, I'm gonna finish moosing her entire head off camera so i'll be right back, be right back. Oh, guys this is finishing okay. looks see the curls where are you at all right turn in the chair uh -oh. turn in the you chair your, um, your package yeah now that's what i'm talking about so guys we finished Lexi's hair when I'm done I'm gonna do mine dip my ends and stuff cuz you know I did mine last night but we're gonna show you a view this is a view of the hair standing up get up close turn around now bring me a little harder now bring me a little harder Sylvie she always sorry, had, does this love thing I, sing this song to him. Sorry. I don't think he does actually he literally just told me sing the song so guys, as you can see in the previous clip, I mean clip, 
I finished Lexi hair, so now it's time to take care of myself. I'm gonna start my laundry first, and then I'm gonna eat, and then I'm gonna deal with this because it's looking a hot mess under here. Hey everyone, it's day four, it's a Monday. I didn't record this morning, and I was almost not gonna record my entire day because I didn't go to school today because of the weather. It was still raining hard. So I ended up staying home. And two, I haven't, you know, I've, you know, always been inconsistent with doing certain things. Even things that I love, I kind of be inconsistent with doing. And I haven't, like, opened my Bible to read in the past couple of days. And I'm pretty sure that's more than likely why I feel that way anyways. Because... When I do read my Bible and do my Bible study and stuff, I feel like I, a lot better. I feel motivated and excited to do things that I love. So I was like, I'm just gonna start my day four today and show you guys what I do when I read my Bible. But I'm gonna be right back first. Okay, so I know that there are people like me that struggle to stay consistent with reading the Bible and learning about God and Jesus and the words and the meanings of the scriptures. That's me. I have a whole bunch of Bibles, but the other day I bought this Bible. You know, it's pink. And I love pink. So I bought this Bible. And it's the King James Version. And I started reading it. And I just wanted to learn everything about the Bible. So I bought it in the first place. Oh wow. So therefore, I'm going to start. I'm going to show you guys what I do. What I do when I read the Bible, there's a whole bunch of methods that they have to use to read the Bible. I use the SOAP method. That's for scripture, observation, application, and prayer. S-O-A-P. And when I first started, <laughs> when I first started, I wrote down like a couple, I searched up like where a good what are the good books in the Bible to start from? And I started from Proverbs. They said Proverbs was pretty nice. And then I ended up going to church like that Sunday. I bought the Bible on a Friday and this came on a Saturday and I went to church on a Sunday. You know, this is how my book looks. I'm going to show you an inside of it. I'm going to show you an inside of my Bible. Sometimes I feel like I don't do enough, but at the same time, I think back and always say, I try, I do try. I will start, but then, you know, when it starts to really get to me, then I, you know. <sighs> I'm gonna start. I started at Proverbs. I think I'm at Proverbs 2 right now I'm pretty sure I'm at Proverbs too because let me find it let me find it did I start Proverbs 3 no I did not start Proverbs 3 so that's where we're gonna start I don't know if you guys want to hear but this is part of my blog weekly vlog so I'm gonna read it okay cuz this is like my Bible study time Let's open my journal and begin. Gotta label the date and the time for every entry that I use in this book. I didn't even do a Bible study for verse 2. But I think I'm going to read two chapters today because I feel really overwhelmed. And then I'm going to find a Bible verse for how I'm feeling at the moment because I need some up uplifting in my life right now. 23 S O 
A P This is it. So you guys can't even really see it for real. But I'm gonna put the chapter Proverbs three. If I if I read four then yeah. So let's continue because I'll sin and then feel guilty to go back to reading the Bible. But you know let us begin. Okay, chapter three. King James Version, Proverbs. My son, forget not my law, but let thine shine. L Where did I get thine shine? <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to th So the first few lines I said that got to me. Let me go back to the lines that got to me. I should have read it in new translation. Um, it's better to read it in both versions so I could understand it better. But I feel like I got a pretty good understanding of it. Um, this is where, this is the first few uh, verses that got to me. Uh, here it goes. Let me find it. right here verse five and six i believe okay trust in the lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path be not wise in thine own eyes fear the lord and depart from evil it shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones so I just read verse 5 to verse 8, but what really got me was verse 5 to 7. And I'm going to write it down. I'm going to write it down in the scripture section. So give me a second. I'm going to show you. Actually, I'm going to show you guys pretty easier. So the first thing I do before I write down my scripture, I, or my verses, you know, I'm still learning, guys. Um, I highlight it first so I could go back to it. And I'm here and say a few things. Uh, I, I'm going to say a few things that I feel like that I want to change about myself. That reading the Bible, I feel like, will also help change. So I feel like I'm very impatient. I feel like it's easily... I'm easily angered like it's easy to get me irritated and I don't like that um I feel like I procrastinate a lot I do in fact do that I really do but usually after I literally like get done reading a chapter and writing about whatever it is like in my book I feel a lot better and I ended up getting up and doing things instead of sitting around on my phone yeah that's what i do um but let's write this down and i'm gonna be right back okay i got done writing so the next part is observation basically just interpreting what did you basically what did you interpret from what you just read like what does it mean to you so what i interpreted is that Hold on, let me reread the scripture. <laughs> okay, basically what I'm interpreting from what I read, well, this specific, these specific three verses that I've read, um, it's basically saying you should trust in the Lord with all of your heart and not just depend on what you know to your own knowledge is a application and basically also means apply like how are you going to apply this in your life or how does this apply to your life um let's see how does this apply to all my life okay for me how does this apply to my life my personal life i feel like 
I would rather I I can't find I there's one thing I struggle with and that's fighting temptation for like anything not really anything because there's just certain things that I would not do but there's certain things that if I'm tempted well enough I will proceed and do it so basically I feel like this right here applies to my life in a way that I shouldn't just go based off my my own knowledge like saying okay I'm just gonna do it this one time and not do it again or I'm just gonna do it and come back and pray about it even though you doing it and reverting back to the Lord instead of running away is okay but when you're willingly doing it knowing of the consequences and knowing that it's wrong um, I don't know that's something I do so I'm not gonna focus on my knowledge I'm gonna focus on the knowledge of the Lord and pray about it and ask him to work in my life and help me and lead me in the correct ways to fight temptation and to live a godly life you know I gotta put in trust God doesn't want anybody to be troubled or to be unhappy you know but everything does happen for a reason you know but anyways let's continue so I'm gonna write this down here uh, my the way I'm gonna apply it in my life is to you know pray and ask God to assist me with I also fight temptation to read the Bible. Like, sometimes I'll get up and the Bible's like right there and I'll just like turn away and read my phone. And then I feel bad about it because that's not something I want to do, but I just don't know how to fight temptation. And it's hard. It's like literally so hard. I'm telling you guys, I try. I really try. But I've came today. I have come today and I'm making a difference. So, it looks like my vlog is going to be longer than I expected it to be. But I don't think so. Because I already started editing it. And it's only... Day 3 is only like 20 minutes. If day 3 is only 20 minutes. I don't really do anything interesting. Tomorrow, I have work. So, you guys might get a little entertainment. But, I think that is it for today. Because, I'm going to, you know, take a little rest of my day to myself but thank you for watching this day day four you got like three more days wait is it day four friday saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday oh yeah you got three more days the vlog ends on thursday and not friday because i start a new one friday oh yeah well, later, guys. I totally forgot. <laughs> okay, guys. It's day four. It's day four of the vlog, and it's time for me to get up. Well, it's time for me to go shower. So I'm gonna go shower and then come back. You know, I'm going to school and I got work on here. So let's get this show on the road. So, guys, I just got done showering. So now I'm going to wash my face, brush my teeth, and then get ready. So, let's...
Now I'm going to use some peppermint oil. This is what I use to lotion with. Okay, that was my morning routine but I'm not done I still have to put my socks on I still gotta put all my stuff in my purse so yeah I'm gonna show y'all in my bag pencil case pencil um, wipes I'm gonna Put some sheets of paper in here too. Okay, so I need to write. This goes in between my laptop screen, like moi. so it doesn't get up. this in ah oh, shoot I don't remember if I turned the sound off on this so it doesn't make all that noise in class eh now we go to the iPad turn this sound down Five percent already. Dang man. Water. This isn't one of my bag. It's already heavy. That's all I need to do. Turn down the volume on all of my devices. Just in my pocket.
and I'm not gonna bring my camera to school. I'll finish the rest off my phone, but off to school I go. So guys, I got to school, you know, I stopped along the way. I stopped at Wendy's, I stopped at Circle K, but I made it. And I could see through my peripheral vision, Brianna looking at me right now. So guys, this is still day five. Okay, so it's day five and currently I'm at lunch and we got her, her, Jaylee, you and I over there somewhere. And I got fourth period next and then I got work after. So this is pretty short. Um, so I'll check back in later. So guys, right now I'm in fourth period. So guys, I forgot to record the entire day, but I ended up doing my hair. Oh shoot. Yeah, I did my hair. Uh, this is horrible recording. But yeah, I did my hair and I'm working my way up. Yeah, it's definitely something. And I'm gonna come back when I'm done because it's really long. So guys, this is the last day of my vlog. It's Thursday. This is how my hair looks. I did hair today. I'll input some pictures, but that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Later. Tune in for the next vlog that starts tomorrow, Friday. Hopefully. Hopefully.